Good day, world. It is Saturday, day five of this challenge, and um, really the first day that I did not at all want to go live. <clears throat> Feeling super raw today, and um, reflective. I went to bed yesterday just having watched a um, a video from a bombing of um, Donetsk in Donbass. And I think it was the first footage from the war in Ukraine that um, that looked like proper war and that couldn't have been staged in any way with like uh, dead bodies on the street and There was an old man um, wailing and with three women laying at his feet. One of, one of them was rolling around in blood. And um, it really impacted me. Um, so... I went to bed feeling like um, my heart was really torn, torn to bits. And this particular attack was uh, apparently by the Ukrainian army against the, the, the separatists in the east. But of course, similar things are happening in other parts of Ukraine the other way around. and. Yeah. I think there are some um, for me this this activation of my um my heart uh, where where I just cry for humanity right now and and then that blends with some of my own vulnerabilities that I'm feeling right now as I'm in the middle of this Big change process. So I'd rather not be live talking about this. But it is a nice day here in Stockholm. So that's good. That's good. And we're going to go and look at a house today. So that's also good. And we're going to go see some friends of ours today. So that's also good. But man, my heart is raw. Yeah. And I have no hopeful message for me or for you or for anyone. It's just like humanity is dark as fuck sometimes. And and to see these bodies on the street with their uh legs ripped off and yeah it's um, it's not good no winner in any war Lorraine that's true I'm glad to see you yeah people dying on both sides and and most people being so partial that oh like I, I'm just I'm just cheering for Zelensky. I'm just cheering for Putin. Is there is no cheering? Like I'm disgusted by the way that so many people have become completely enamored by war almost overnight. Why are you enamored by war? Why do you think it's a good thing? Why do you celebrate it? There's nothing to celebrate. All of these hero stories and people going gaga over their favorite hero in the narrative. So fucking base. So 
this is what lives in me today. Um, I, I brought it to bed last night and I'm still feeling it today. I cannot shake this old man just standing on the, on the pavement with those three women at his feet being dead from apparently what was a Ukrainian cluster bomb. And again, I'm not, I'm not partial in this. I know that it's happening both ways, but it's just the first video that I've, um, that I've seen that was like proper war footage. Um, yeah. I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing it. You probably aren't, but might as well invite you into my world. It's it's on the channel of a guy. What's his name? Maximilian Clark. He's one of the um, Western independent journalists operating in Ukraine right now. So you need to go to independent journalists to see it. It's called Extremely Graphic and Disturbing Donetsk Cluster Bomb Aftermath. Yeah, well, it's, it's not something to watch if you're uh, going to um, enjoy your day, but whatever, it's, it's what's in me now. It was horrific to see, and um, I'm just processing. Uh, I'm just processing the darkness in humanity today. And feeling raw for myself. But hey, I have this view. So I guess this was the first day that this was really a challenge because I didn't want to be here. Anyway, I, I hope you have a good day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.